Hi, Sopranos fans. This is going to be a real quick video. In fact, this video is going to close the book on Rihanna. Tony and Little Carmine. I have to tell you, fans, for years I suspected that Little Carmine has something to do with it. And I got a lot of comments from various people all over the world uh, asking me to make a video that implicates Little Carmine. And now I'm finally going to do it because, yes, Little Carmine is most definitely the link. No doubt about it. This scene proves it. If there's anything I can do, Tony, for Anthony Jr., thank you. When Alexandra had that bout of anorexia, we had this terrific psychologist. She tried to kill herself, your daughter? No. She had serious problems, didn't she? No, really. It's all under control. Tony really isn't happy to hear that he wants his friend's kids to be as messed up as his. But no, Tony, you messed up as a dad. But... Here's what's really most important in this scene. The fact that little Carmine spoke about a brilliant psychologist and he even gives the symptoms that his daughter was suffering from. And think about it. This comes next. Jesus. What are you doing here? Well, you first. I have some food issues. Depression. She's basically giving the same ailments, but more importantly, she's in the hospital, the mental hospital, where AJ is. And little Carmine just spoke about AJ, so he knows where AJ is. Also, what's very, very, very important is Little Carmine is a mob boss, and mob bosses control unions. Who cleans up the hospitals? Who are the janitors? Those people are in unions. If this guy calls a strike, all of a sudden, there's no lunch workers, no nobody to mop the floors, nobody to clean up. I mean, this guy is powerful. He has control. That's how someone like him can get someone like her, Rhiannon, into a state hospital. It's really just that simple. Now, it's also important to note that Rhiannon didn't make her first appearance as far as this picture on the wall. It wasn't in this episode, which is the Blue Comet episode. If you guys didn't know. Rhiannon made her first appearance in the Kaisha episode. Here's the pic. And don't forget Sheep's Head Bay. That is very important to New York. That's the New York connection right there. I'm not going to get into it in this video. Take a look at this video. Check out this video. This is uh, my latest, the one right before this one. And it gives all the evidence you ever want to see concerning the connection between Rhiannon and New York. Hopefully the absolute proof in this video puts to rest the Patsy, Pauly scenario where people think that somehow Patsy was involved. I don't think people think Pauly was involved anymore. I don't hear that much. But people are still holding on to Patsy. He's not involved. Watch this video and it proves it beyond a shadow of doubt. I'm going to put the link to both of the videos I just highlighted in the description 
of this video. But there's one more thing I want you guys to see. This scenario or group of pictures should prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that Emily Wickersham is the picture on the wall. This is the picture on the wall. This is from the show, a picture of Rhiannon. And this is a picture of Emily Wickersham, black and white shot, just in regular life, a regular shot of Emily Wickersham. Look at the chin, folks. Look at the lips. The nose. Especially the nose. Those eyebrows cannot be mistaken. It's the same person. Take a good look. This proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that Emily Wickersham is the picture on the wall. So that means the picture on the wall is Rhiannon, which means she is the setup girl. She was connected to New York and this video proves it. Thank you, folks. Before you go, folks, please subscribe to my channel. In the right-hand corner of your screen, there should be a little upside-down bell. Please click it and subscribe. I truly, truly appreciate it, and I appreciate all of you. Thank you, and see you soon. Have a great day, everyone.